Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. Today is really special because for the first time in 10 weeks, 10 weeks, 10 weeks, we went to our favorite thrift store. It opened on Friday. We were there 30 minutes before DI opened and we have an amazing thrift haul. We spent about $250. We got two and a half carts of awesomeness. If you love thrift hauls, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And also just a heads up, the items that we share here, we do sell. If you're interested in anything, it's not on the website yet because we just got it. Gotta process it. So you can go email info at jamierayvintagehome.com if there's anything we show that you want. We always get asked throughout the, the show, so I just thought I'll tell you up front. We always tell you what we paid for it, what we're gonna sell it for, and what we'll do with it. So let's get started. So this is tarnished silver. And it's real silver. It's got a uh, mark on the back. I think it's plated. It's not, not a hundred percent. You can can hear the tinniness. But it's got the good tarnish on it. We picked this up for two dollars. This little serving tray, and it, you know anything with handles, I love it. It's very utilitarian and useful to me. But you know, I'm also nervous. I've not seen one with a handle before, and I love that it has little feet. Well, it's well balanced. I, you know, I wonder. The chicken is going to be the example. I get nervous carrying stuff. Oh yeah, it would have to be balanced. People probably aren't gonna put a chicken in it. It's probably just, you know, for when it's hot, you just kind of balance it with one hand. Anyway, it was $2, how much are we gonna sell it for? <laughs> um, so this is a little bit unique. Normally I sell the platters for like $12.95, so that would sell for about $16.95 in the shop. It's got these little knob feet on the bottom of it too. All right. uh, apparently it was really hot in Ohio. You know, ironically, it was cold in Utah. I'm wearing my cardigan sweater here because it's been it like rainy 70. and cold. Well, like in the 60s. 70. It's chilly out there. It's going to get down into the 40s the next few nights. So Yeah, it will get cool. And I went and checked on the chickens this morning over at the farmhouse because it had been storming all night. And the GFI outside had tripped it on them. Cold. But they were champs. They were all just, they did what you're supposed to do. They were huddled together and sharing each other's they were. And when there's 19 of them, they're staying warm. <laughs> yeah. No, we've only... Hazel, the silver actually sells really, really well. Yeah. This is also plated. You can, you know, the way I test it is I listen for the tinny sound. It sounds almost like a cymbal when you hit it with your fingernail. So three bucks on this. So $12.95. This was a steal at $2. Yeah, for sure. That'll sell for $12.95. So this actually has a little inset where you can put a little dish for like chips and dip or strawberries and cream or whatever. So same thing on this one, $12.95 for each of these those. These guys are actually, I think they're friends. I think this is matching oh, pattern. Oh, is it a matching pattern? Yep. Oh, I like it. it so. Was, so because they, so what they do now at the DI thrift store is they only load once a day. And because they've had weeks to get ready, everything was super organized. So like... I was able was to go so in stuff. in 20 minutes and get two and a half carts worth of stuff. I literally was like taking whole stacks of stuff and putting it in the cart because everything was so organized. It was great. Um, Diane says they lost a really big tree in the wind last night. Ooh. We actually had the power go off yesterday for a few hours because a big tree blew down in Lehigh and took the power out with it. So we were trying to finish up the pantry. <laughs> We have no power. So yeah, some of it was filmed outside in dusk and it's kind of grainy, but you know, you guys get the picture. It wasn't like a show you the good stuff. So I was going through the small section oh, after this. Jamie went through the small section because I went and hit the yard up. We went so, to separate areas. Blame me for and missing look it. look at these chickens she didn't pick up. Look at them. They're going to get painted, of course, but you know, this one's, this one's tail feathers are kind of flared almost like a turkey, but... Definitely a chicken. That one's a rooster. No, it's a head. No, it's a head. It's a head. Yeah. Look at those. Okay. I'm sure it's a head. All right. Well, it's a big chicken, a little chicken. So these guys are friends. Dollar on this one. I sprung for this one at $3 just because I think they'll be cool. Yeah, and we'll sell them for about between $6.95 and $8.95 each. And we'll probably wind up painting them a little white wax. And they said on the next farmhouse video, they want to see the chickens. We'll show them to you because they're oh. like almost double in size. They're getting their pin feathers. Almost all of them don't have to have their butts cleaned anymore. We only had to clean like four chicken butts only this week. Only four. So week we're one, getting, it was like good. every single one of them. I'm like, come on, guys. Aren't you wiping good? Um, Caitlin says it's actually decor and it's live. I don't know. Somebody must have said something. Oh, well, these were $3 each. We got a sheep and a cow. 
also missed by Jamie and the small But section. you know what's ironic? I had that once before and it was a pig. Like well, years had... ago I had the pig. No, it wasn't. It was a year, like maybe two years ago. We had, it was stacked though, I think. No, I had that exact same thing with the pig. So now I have the cow and the sheep, but the pig sold. Pig's gone. But these are cool. They got the little stars down below. They hold the candle up top. They're metal. And then this resin. is resin in the middle. And this is actually, yeah, this is resin down below. So they're really cute as is. Um, they're a little bit primitive Americana. Our style is a little more fresh. So we will probably paint them unless somebody wants to buy them the way they are. Um, and we spent, what, $3? $3 each. Okay, so I would say probably about sixteen ninety five. each. I think this, they, they should stay, oh, sixteen ninety five. Oh, you want to sell them as a set? I think they should be friends. I mean, come on, okay. we got the sheep and the cow, and they've been hanging out together just talking on their little posts for decades. Who knows? Okay, well then as a set, twenty nine ninety five. So you get a deal. It's like $2 cheaper as a my set. My cockle birds are sticking in my fur. I hear ya. Yeah, I know I all like, about it. I feel like the farm dust is getting to you. I got one stuck dust. in my hoof the other day. Almost kicked the fence down. Seb and I spent many hours cleaning today, and I feel like it's starting to get to them. We went to the dump, and it was very windy. So if my eyes look bloodshot, it's because about four gallons of dirt blew into them. And the guy at the dump felt so bad for us because we were like, we had, a, our dump trailer was our so... Our trailer is not a dump trailer. Yeah, it's not a dump trailer. Our trailer we were using for the dump trailer was so full... An hour later, the guy's like, let me use my claw. And so he like helps us out because he feels bad for us. He had so much weight on the trailer. He was dragging my truck backwards. I'm like, bro, I don't need that much help. Yeah, we, uh, we were glad the <laughs> truck wasn't broken. But then we did that. And then we worked in the yard all day. There's probably still dirt. And we cleaned up the farmhouse because the main part of the farmhouse is, was a hot mess. Two dollar rolling pin. It's been a while since we've got some a bunch of rolling pins. We had some given so I to us. A mask. I was wearing a mask. Oh, we had the mask. I had on. the mask on. I just didn't have any safety glasses, so I got dust in my eyes. Yeah. So these these have kind of slowed down uh, selling at the shop. They still look but good display, online, but time. they've been going like hotcakes online. So we're still hunting them down. So we sell them for ten ninety five, and we paint the handles, and then we seal them with hemp oil. Yep, sweet pick and temp oil. Rosie, you can get it thank at... you. She said our pantry looks awesome. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't seen the pantry video, we've been working extra hard to show you all the tricks. All the good things. Um, Rhonda says you're funny. <laughs> it's, and... I got a little bit of extra energy tonight because I'm tired, but I'm not quite ready for bed, if that makes sense. Oh, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Before I put on this cute outfit for y'all, I was wearing my new polka dot joggers that just came in. They're soft. They feel like kitty soft, you know, like... Fur, but they're not fur. Anyways, yeah, I wanted to stay in my pajamas, but I got dressed. So we have refilled. we have solo jar offering with clasp, um, and like like Jamie did in her pairing in the video on Thursday, we had three different sizes. When you find them by themselves, don't give up hope. You can always find more. If you ask the girls that work for me, they will tell you I have a big jar collection in the basement. And so what I do when I get them like this, I, was it two bucks? Yeah, this was two dollars. So, it's got a little green tint to yeah, it. Yeah, individually, probably it would sell for like ten or twelve dollars. But I'll st wait till it goes downstairs, and I'll find like three of them with varying sizes and sell the set for thirty nine ninety five. And they sell like hotcakes because people love the tall, light green glass jars with the clasp. You guys. Okay, essentially. You... Essentially, Kim really says my pantry's bigger than her kitchen. It's not that big. It's like eight by nine. Maybe. It's it's an eight by nine square, and there's no sink in there or stove or fridge, or fridge so it feels like it's like oh wow. But there's we a designed lot of cabinet it, space. Yeah, we designed it like that because we wanted to have like a prep area away from the kitchen, because our 11 year old is getting really into cooking, and we're like, you know what? When you walk you in that front in door, you see the kitchen and everything, and we don't want that to be like the first mess that any guests see in the house. So, do you prep in the pantry? Oh no, Donna said the tie-dye joggers sold out in her size. I will definitely order some more. I did order some more joggers today in different patterns, but I don't know if I ordered tie-dyed. So I'll check. I can confirm that those joggers are super soft. Not because I've been wearing them, though. Because he's been snuggling them. Two dollar right, jar, so blue. Dollar. Oh, was it a dollar? Oh, it was a dollar. Gonna... So this goes in my random jar collection. We recently started a shelf at the shop, and we even have it on the website. And I buy, I put all these random little bottles on it, and I sell them for three ninety five each. And you get what you get if you order them online. So we just like grab them at random, and people love to dig through the jars here at the shop. So if you guys have a retail store or a booth. I suggest having a random jar shelf. I, I will take out the cork because, I don't know, I just don't like it. She doesn't then, love corks. 
You know, they quartz. hold things. I know, but these, are, I just don't like it. And so I just put all the jars together, and I'm telling you, people buy them. Every day someone buys themselves a jar. It's like an impulse buy, kind of like that candy at the checkout sander, counter at my shop, the candy is jars. Gotcha. Like, Ooh, I, I just want one jar. It's just $3.95. Well, I walked by this, and I'm like, hmm, it's kind of a weird shape, but it's blue, so I grabbed it. I grabbed that. We have a muddler offering to go with the rolling pin offering. I also missed the muddler. You it know, was two dollars. Shelly says she has a weakness for random jars. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Here's the deal. I have not been to my favorite thrift store in ten weeks. It was like overload. I was in a little bit of sensory overload. I was very concerned that I would not get what I wanted, and they only bring out stuff once a day, not like they normally do. Bring out more carts. Yeah. So whatever they get, they bring it out all day they long. Got. They used to bring it all, all day long, and now they got to sanitize it. So you got to get it fast. And if you don't go first thing in the morning, don't go at all. So two bucks, we'll sell for nine ninety five. Yep, yeah, this probably won't get painted. Although it might be cool to like paint the knob and maybe do a stripe. Oh hey Debbie, she says hello. I am new. Stripe on the shoulder. Hey, welcome. Yeah, we, the muddler won't get painted. We just love them as is. All right, so we have this birdcage slash lantern thing. It does have glass. I actually don't love here. the glass. Yeah, well, I think we can take it out. It looks like this. I think if we do put it on the home decor website, I will take the glass out because then I don't have to worry about it breaking. Yeah. And it doesn't need it. No, it doesn't it's, need it. It's so cute. It's got the birdcage style clasp. With I the actually little... think if we sprayed this white and wet distressed it and let that copper bronzy color come through, it'd be so cute. And how much would we pay for that? We paid two dollars. Lots of two dollar things. There was a couple oh, things a that we paid. Thing. A little more for on this haul. I wasn't even looking at prices. I was just throwing stuff in the cart. Oh, I'm like, man, just buy has, the stuff. Just buy it. This has rubber around the glass. Oh, so maybe. It, well, the nice thing you could take it out and wrap it in foam instead of leaving it in. I hate it when you can't get the glass out of them. Oh, yeah. super chat. Let's see who is that from. It's on your yours before mine. Oh, Sally. Thank you, Sally. Sally. Sally Happy is thrifting. Like the sun, man. She super chats every week. Thank you, Sally. The sun comes up every week and or every day and Sally super chats every week. All right, so two bucks, we'll sell that for $24.95. So this is a good profit margin for us. These lanterns do not last long. Usually they don't even make it to our Thursday stay at home. What happens is videos. we'll get an email sometime between the, the night and, and Monday and we'll just ship it off as is a lot of times. Yeah, most of our lanterns sell very, very quickly. And they are kind of hard to find. And when you find them in the store, where were we at? Oh, I, we were at the feed store, oh, yeah. IFA, and I'm looking at some of their farmhouse decor. It was like forty dollars. I was like, these people yeah. need to shop at JamieRayVintageHome.com. I didn't say that, but I was thinking it. She wanted to get on the better. intercom and be like, "Yo, do not I, buy the decor here. It is overpriced. It was all made in China, so sorry, don't worry." Sorry, IFA. I really do love you, and I bought a ton of bags of fertilizer from we'll you. We'll buy your night. chicken feed. We'll buy your dirt, but I'm not buying your overpriced home decor. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, mudlers are good for fresh fruit cocktails. Oh, we should get that for when I like those lemonades oh, yeah. with the blueberries and the mint. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't sell. Actually, I think we have another one on shop. I, so if somebody wants it, we'll sell it. Well, we I have need that to save huge one. one that I made you out of. Uh, that could make me a big old mixed lemonade. I have that really big one that I made you out of that huge chunk of, uh, what was it? Yeah, we never used it. Can uh, we go to the cedar. store and get some blueberries and some mint and make some lemonade? I don't know. I got to do payroll after this. All right. I guess not. <laughs> All right. So we have carnival glass bowl that has quite a bit of detail. This three dollars. So it's this bluish green. So I'm not a huge fan of the orange carnival grass, gla grass, glass. But blue green carnival glass is kind of bohemian in nature. So if you are like a bohemian mid century look, plus it doesn't look bad with my color scheme in a store. The orange stuff. Yeah, not so much. So this will sell for $19.95 and it was three. Three dollars. I had to squat down low to get that. I saw it shining on the other side of the aisle and I was like, let me see what it is, and it was worth it. I like the detail on it. I don't think that one's actually old. Wally Wally said, What did orange do you? I just don't like orange in my decor. We'll go to Home Depot too much, I think. No, it just, you know, it just <laughs> In the fall, I decorate with orange, okay? Lolly, I'll bring you some orange in the fall. So this was $2. I think this is a repop one. Ideal for silks, hosiery, and lingerie, or handkerchiefs. Just the right size to fit a bucket, pail, or lavatory, in case you gotta wipe out them cloth divers. Mm, we don't have none of those, but 
Super cute for home decor. Now, what's stamped on it being where it says double? Oh, it's like laundry stuff. Yeah. All right. Lolly, Lolly loves orange. Lolly, next week I'll have something orange just for you because you show up every week, so I should bring you some orange. Um, so how much was that? Two bucks? This was two bucks. I say twelve ninety five because it's not like legit Technically, old. it's still functional. You know, if you got to... Well, if you want to wash your underpants on it and your drawers go right on ahead. I can't even get you to put laundry in the washer. It's down in the basement. Long you're way. down in the basement editing. I'm like, hey, while you're editing a video. When I'm down in the basement. Could you, could you take a five minute break and it's just video move time, it. not laundry time. Just move time. it from the washer to the dryer. I gotta get the good people of YouTube their videos of the farmhouse so that they can see what you've done to the pantry. See, I think if you took five minutes to rotate the laundry while you're editing a video, nobody would be mad. There's no time. I can't break focus. I can't break focus for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Green Lolly, says th Lolly says thank you. It is your job to remind me to buy something orange for orange. next week. I like orange. I like orange and brown and tan colors together. <laughs> Sally said you tell her that. Sally, you, are you going to come to my laundry? <laughs> we have a serious laundry situation at our house. Nobody there does it. Seven There's seven people, people wearing clothes. And we work 80,000 hours a week. And you can't really hire somebody to come do that. They'd be like, I don't know where to start. Anyways, I digress. Greenery. Um, that was two dollars originally from IKEA. Probably was like four ninety five. Also, it was probably for like five glued. Bucks. It's broken on the bottom. I'll put it in something cute. It still goes into jars real well. Let's see what can we. Oh 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 oh! I'm ready. Look. You're ready to put it in that. So this says this was two dollars. So four dollars for the pair, and I could probably sell it for sixteen ninety five. The two. What does it say? For life. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's stoneware. It's got that stoneware look. So sixteen ninety five. Oh, I guess I'll have to make that smaller. Well, you could just get. Can you, you could just. It? Let me see. Can you squish that in there? Um, hang on. I am gonna, gonna. I'm that? gonna fix all your problems. This weird. Karen says Zeb is on a roll. What did I feed him? I fed him a blondie Sunday with roasted pecans and handmade ice cream. What's from that handles. place called? Oh, handles. Handles. We got a handles that went it's in just money. down the. It's like on my way to Home Depot. I'm doomed. It's like five minutes from the farmhouse. So, oh, look at that. There we go. Sixteen ninety five. For the stoneware and the Ikea greenery. That was sell gone. so fast. <laughs> Anyways, I fed him ice cream. That's all we had for dinner. Okay. Thank you, Frazier. It said my dress is pretty. I mean, it actually is really comfortable. It doesn't wrinkle because it's polyester. And it's got smocking, which reminds me of being a little girl. My mom always bought me smock dresses. Um, I didn't even know what smocking was. I had to look. <laughs> Kayla, uh, Katie says he's not used to all that sugar. He is now. He drinks like four Powerades a day. No, I've only been drinking one, and I've been sweating them out. It's Jen says like just keep wearing more clothes stock. It's all good. That's right. I'm going to start selling my gently used clothes here pretty soon <laughs> because I have so many new things. Oh. I, have to, I have to try it all out. I'm quality control. This is just a weird insert that does not go with the butter dish. I'm, um, I'm not sure it goes with anything. It's... It's no very flaky and red. Right. I'm gonna get rid of that too. Oh gosh, you can't even. Flinging stuff tonight. All right, so this is actually a really cool butter what, dish. Where is it made from? A dollar fifty. It doesn't have a name. So no, it's probably not old. No maker. I'll sell it for like sixteen ninety five. It's a big butter dish. You, you could, could probably fit, fit that Kerrygold butter. Yeah, you could fit the Kerrygold. You were right there with me. I was. I, know, I knew what you were thinking. You're thinking fat butter, and I knew. I was it. just like, man, you gotta get that good Irish butter in here. Sweet. Renee says, I decided I'm wearing dresses to work more freedom. Heck yeah. And if it's a little chilly, just throw on some Capri leggings. Done. And then you don't have anything tight and restricting. And in the summertime when it's hot, the air. This is $1.50, did you say? Did I miss it? $16.95. I, I got to business before I was talking about clothes. Okay. All right, this was $4. Yes, my nephew from Arizona moved to Hawaii, the little stinker. We're we'll throwing things tonight. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Just make sure it's junk to <laughs> throw, throw anything good. So this one's four dollars, and we'll sell it for nineteen ninety five. Um, I love the tin detail on it, so it just needs a new paint job. I think it's I'll actually the, no, it is. No, it's pressed tin. tin. So it's tin over resin. Yeah. So let's put that in the Jamie's gonna paint it tonight pile because that'll be a good one. Okay. Okay. Car Tarmia from Parts and Millie says she loves her dresses and leggings. Carolyn says, darn, getting on late. Carolyn, you're only 20 minutes late. Yeah, we got lots to show. We got so much stuff. Like, I, just still, I have stuff that I had to pull off the table and some stuff that didn't even make it for the initial picture that was not on the table that's like really good. Clock. Nice square clock, but check out, I'm going to show it close. Check out the detail around the edge. And the letters are good. It's got like that Times New Roman 
uh, and letters, the numbers. The numbers Kaylin just good. put the email. If you see anything you have to have, just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and Caitlin will get you the deets. So this clock will be about $40 once it's all finished. We are going to paint the frame, but I'm going to leave the face because I like it. I think we got three clocks today. Yeah, clocks have been selling, and so I'm all Jamie's, about... Jamie's on board with the clocks. I She's just don't buy the ginormous own. clocks because they're hard. They're like hard to paint and ship. And Zeb never gets around to them, so I'll I buy. I'll show you the one I got. I buy manageable clocks. This is the one manageable I got. Manageable clocks. I got this one because it's tin. You two must be tired. Yeah, we didn't even get home last night till like 1:30. Oh well, so here's the ginormous one. It there was it seven was. bucks, but come on, look at that. It. I, There's no. a little hint of blue on the background. First of all, I found that. No, oh, you didn't. Yes, I did. Is this, this isn't the one you grabbed. Yes, it is. I had it in the side of the cart. I bought it in the yard. I know exactly where it was when I found it. I think you took it out of my cart and put it in your cart. I think you are making up stories, sir. Mm, I don't know. Donna says, I love the butter dish. And Anna says, I got clocks this week, too. How do you prep stuff before chalk painting it? We clean it most of the time. And then we paint it. A little soap and water or uh, some degreaser. And yeah. we go to painting. Rarely do we sand. Rarely. Yeah. And if you see me set painting something on a live, chances are I didn't wash it. Here's I the whole view of it, it, not up close. It's so pretty, especially now that it's close to your face. It's still ticking. I can hear it. And your new farmhouse 1917 hat. Yeah, I had to grab a new one out of the shop today. I told him that's, that's your filming hat, and you're going to leave it here. And then your crusty hat, you can wear with you. All my other hats, it's dusty and sawdusty at the farmhouse. And oh, then I Donna! I she goes, I'm sure she did, Zeb. Shame on you, Jamie, for taking that out of his cart. She did. I don't. There was it so was, many. There was like 18 clocks out there in talk, the yard. I'm like, which one do I get? I can't have them all. Let's talk about painting furniture. If I'm painting furniture, I clean it really well with degreaser. And if it's shiny, like you can see your face in it shiny, I lightly sand it. And if I think it's going to bleed, I use DIY salvation solution. But other than that, that's about it. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, and we've had good luck. The Salvation Solution, man, no bleed through on those cabinets. They were like, Donna says, the are the leggings good. hot? No, they're not. They're really thin. They're not like thick leggings, but they're soft. Here's up. Tell them how soft they are. They are very soft. They feel like felt. They feel like felt. It's kind of a requirement that all things leggings, t-shirts, must be like super soft. That's my that's my jam. All right, and there are one size, and we have a plus size, too. The one size fits up to, like, probably, like, a 12-ish, 14. Little tin, look, the greenery. Depends on your bum. Even though oval, the greenery still works in this one, too. Even though it's an oval shape. Yeah, it does. Well, it's, you just kind of fluff it. Just fluff the greenery. There you go. You just That's mushed it. it. That was a fluff. I was fluffing. Okay. All right. Okay, so this was $2, this little brass tin. And we probably Shannon sell these for like says I can never paint something I didn't clean. I'm OCD. I wish I was wild as a Jamie. Well, by the I time am we... wild. I will paint shiz all day long that is not clean. <laughs> well, here's the thing. By the time we... I live loose and free. By the time we paint it and seal it and, you know, it's and it's usually like a dresser or something. <laughs> but home decor, it's fine. So I'm not sure if this is actual silver. It says it's supposed to be tarnish resistant, but check it out. It's got some on it. Um, apparently it didn't resist enough tarnish. So that's perfect for jewelry or soap. Although I don't think our big mamma jamma soap would fit in that. Maybe it would fit, but it would not like would... down the bottom. So here's the thing. The little petite square wood. This, the, the big French soap would fit in this, like me trying to fit in a compact car. So it would work. I would hit my head and my knees would be up in my chest. But I'd get in there. Stacy, are the denim shorts and jeans on the website really stretchy? Yes, but read the description because I always put in there if you need to size up. Because like the distressed jeans I was wearing the other day, I have to wear large. So most of them, I would say you need to size one size up on all of them. So these candle holders remind me of a goblet. They might even be that. And, oh, and the new denim shorts that just got put up on the top, the ones that are like $24.95 and $25.95, they're super comfy. And Christy, who works here, swears by the distressed ones. So, so these, were, these were $2 each. Look, I could be like Princess Leia with my buns. Can I please have this? So it says it's got a stamp, it 1973, says, on the side. F.B. Rogers, made in Spain. And these, I'm assuming, were from a wedding anniversary. Cindy and... Dan, 1973. Do so you know which what? anniversary is the silver anniversary? Is it 25? 
Oh, no. I think so. So I think it was Cindy and Dan's 25th wedding anniversary in 1973. My parents were married in 1973. Oh. But their names are, are Lynn not and Cindy Doreen. And and not Cindy I love Dan. anything monogrammed that sells fast. Even if people, people buy it even if it doesn't have their name. But one time I had this cute little silver dish and it said e Evie on it or something like that. Anyways, a mom came in with her daughter, and it was her daughter's name, and they had to have it because it had her daughter's name on. So I always buy monogram stuff. So these are ten. Someone. How much were those? Uh, they were two dollars each. So I'll sell them for like twelve ninety. So the set would be like nineteen ninety five. So these look like they've lived outside a little bit. They're actually tin. Someone spray painted on them to kind of look like copper. They need a better job. And this one has some rust. Yeah, they need a better paint job, but I don't mind the copper underneath. They were dollar fifty each. I'm thinking farm fresh on them because with the copper, it would be a really good vibe. Oh, um, Heidi says she loves the randomness that is your son. Deb and I are totally random. The <laughs> weirdest thing is when we're random at the same time, and I'm like. Usually, one of us is like, "Okay, I gotta be serious tonight." <laughs> no, but I mean, like when we say the same weird thing. Oh man, yeah. we've been having that a lot lately. We it's been a lot of time. It's the late night at the farmhouse. All right, let's move on. Okay, show oh, them. I think there's stuff inside. You have of it. your picture frame, your hanging <laughs> picture frame system that you picked up. All right, so. I just thought these were cool. They were two dollars a piece. They're made to hang together, which I think is weird. But I'm gonna leave the hooks on them because you could put like a ribbon in them. And there's picture frames, and then there's this another picture frame. Here's the hardware if you want to hook them all together. So they have hooks on them. So they'll be twelve ninety five each once they're painted. And, and some have like squares. Yeah. Just squares on them so that you can like you know do a little visual relief from all the pictures. You could just put your face in between them like like this and then like pretend I was the picture and there then some go. relief on each side. You're so cute. Okay. All right. Okay. okay so there's a bunch of those. They'll probably get painted apothecary. I can't. Yeah, he says, Caitlin, I can't get through to you. The email won't get through. Is the email not sending? She, we, she probably won't respond till Monday and then she'll go by first come first serve. Yeah. So just so you guys know, if you don't think she's ignoring you, Caitlin's working on the live. By the time the live's over, it's like 10 o'clock, and we don't work on Sunday. So she generally responds on Monday, and she always goes in order of who emailed for the item first, so that way it's fair. And then she'll invoice you. It's really simple. Simple, simple. All right, let's talk about the half-naked winged babies in the room. So I, ca I, I came from the yard carrying like eight other things and this. And Jamie's like, ooh, I like that. And I'm like, what about the other eight things? <laughs> I like the box. The cherubs are a little 1995 for me. The box is lined. Always good. And I'll sell this for like $29.95 because it's a big box. And it's all kinds of detail. Perfect for some IOD transfer situation there. We're going to paint this one tonight? Sure. We'll put it on the paint side. We'll put it on the paint side. It'll be all good. Right. If you guys watched the Struggle Wednesday with some IOD transfers, the only reason we struggled is because we rushed it in the paint. How long was do we wait dry. to put on a transfer after you use Big Top? You should wait two hours. How long do we wait? Ten minutes. We waited ten minutes. And then you sweat to death because you're trying to make it work. All right, we're gonna we are gonna paint the box. It's on the paint side. Okay. All right, this is a flower organizer, and you were wanting to call something a can candelabra the other day. This, yeah, this is a candelabra. Is a candelabra. Look, you could even hang. And it. it came from the store down the street that closed, Beth Murray. Mm. But she closed far before COVID. Just so you know, it wasn't the COVID. It was just, I think she thought that owning a store would be chill and it wasn't as chill as she thought because they weren't around that long. But her store was really cute. So it says $2 and she was charging $30. It's a flower frog, someone said. Yeah, it is. That's what I said. Flower frog with candelabra. Um, Did you, you, you say flower holder, I think. That's what I meant. In, my, in my mind, I said flower frog. In your mind, that's you were what the little thing frog. with holes is. Yep, it has holes so you can put your fake flowers or maybe even real flowers if you're ambitious. Do I still sell IOD transfers? Elizabeth, all day long. And we have some first generations on the website that are still on sale, so don't miss those. Hold on, we didn't talk about price. Oh, well, how much did you pay for that? $2? I paid two dollars, I'll sell it for nineteen ninety five. So that Marie was gonna sell it for thirty, but here this is nineteen ninety five all day long. Okay. Julie, this? I do garage sales sometimes, but DI is faster. Well and <laughs> twenty minutes, one stop done. The garage sales have been hit and miss this yeah. spring. If I happen to be driving, I will bottleneck 
if there's a yard sale. Okay, so this will be twelve ninety five. It is silver plated. Silver plated. And it was five dollar. Five. This was a so little more, more than we paid, but you know, it's got the fun detail on the sides. This would make a really cool lamp. Jamie, you had those transfers the whole time. That's right. I'm wasting on Wednesday. Don't you worry. You know why I'm good at fixing mistakes? Because I make a crap ton of them. All right. We got to move along with our live video. Sorry. I got micro needled, so if I'm a little patchy, that's why. All right. We are all sold out of brass candlesticks that are of a decent size. In fact, I'm not sure we have any in stock, except for little ones. These were two, 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 and three. And I will sell them for like... $9.95, $12.95. And sometimes if I list them online, I'm like, four candlesticks, $26.95. More, no, 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 that wouldn't be enough. $39.95. Would that be right? Let's not do math while we're tired. I can't do math. Or maybe it'd be $26.95. Yeah, $26.95 for all four. And the reason I do that when I list them online is so I don't have to list them individually. And then somebody has an instant collection. So, anyways. I don't paint the brass. People like them the way they are. They're like a hot piece of brass. And then we do, but not often. Yeah. All right. Bowl, two bucks. Silver plated. This is Sheridan silver plated. This will probably also be twelve ninety five. It's actually got a good weight to it. So. This was a doll that might actually be functional. I don't actually think I use plants. that. So um yeah, this is cool. I I'm really like, like the as handle as on it. How it just. It's like a six ninety five. If I leave it the way it is, nine ninety five. If I paint it. Now this was the deal of the century. It was a dollar, one singular dollar, and I think it's worth twenty bucks. It's a basket Cute. with wire. It's a wire basket. It's got the filigree tin detail. The patina is perfect. It's not actually aged because it's old. Somebody did it in a factory, I'm sure. But nineteen ninety five. Perfect for a picnic, for like if you want to put your napkins and silverware, you don't want them to blow away. And I love that it has the wood turn handle. Those are my favorite. So yeah, it was a buck. So I thought that was a good deal. I was really excited about them. I remember when I, I was setting it up on the it. counter, I'm like, you got that for a dollar? I know. So good. Somebody knew his pricing. All right, like, where did I you like get micro needled? Um, I go to E Lace. Okay, so this. It worked out pretty good. This is a little, uh, it's like a cloche slash Slash base. awesome. So how much was that? I don't even know. I just threw it in the cart. Um, I think the price tag. I was not looking at Oh, it was $3. Regularly $39.97. Holy mamma jamma. Okay, well that won't be $39.97 in my world. That's like $26.95. And I like it just the way that it is. It does need to be cleaned. Although I would not be opposed to painting it, but it's metal. So I think it's cool. I think it just needs to be cleaned. I think the bottom is not metal. What kind of metal is the basket made of? So this is like tin. Yeah, it's just pressed tin. Pressed tin. But it's like, this part is thin, the decorative part, but the rest is like thicker. Okay, so... Can you take the base off to paint it? I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, it'll unscrew. I think it unscrews. You could paint it if you wanted to, for sure. And it would be pretty painted. Okay, so we got a couple of these Two flower organizers or yeah. whatever, at trash cans. This one I, I would know. not paint because I like the rusty. The, this, Although it needs scrubs with like yeah. a magic eraser. It's or something. a big one, so this would be like twenty-two for this one. Yes, yeah, and then this would be like eighteen ninety-five, but this one that does need to be painted. That one has some fun pressed tin detail. Yeah, once this is painted, these roses are gonna really look a lot better. That's right. awesome as is. It just needs to be washed. Pair of candlesticks. These are actually pretty big to give you the arm test. They're taller than my arms. So yeah. They're about twenty inches. Talk. I shouldn't even be watching this. I put me on restriction. Frida, have you been shopping at Jamie Ray Vintage Home? I actually have a few repeat offenders. I was like, oh, someone's been shopping again. <laughs> I don't mind. So these were $5 each. They are, I think someone spray painted them. We will do a new paint job on them and give them a fun distress. And uh, yeah, like, maybe a white wax. Yeah, they're wood. No, they're resin. No, they're not resin. Well, maybe they're resin. No, no that's wood. wood. That's, that's wood. wood. How much were they? These were five each. Oh, okay. So they're big. Well, we'll sell them for like twenty nine ninety five each. So I might do the pair though. If I was gonna sell the pair, they'd be forty nine ninety five for the pair. I usually give a discount for multiples. So these ones are cool though. These are nice. So this one, I saw this across the yard and beelined over to it, and then I carried it out of the yard like it was a trophy. Kai says you're like a crazy lamp lady. Uh, you know, uh, Although the crazy lamp lady. Oh, I thought Whew. that you were smelling your armpits. I no, was like, I was just sneezing. showered. 
<laughs> anyway, the crazy lamp lady actually knows her old stuff better. I just know when stuff is cool. <laughs> I am learning the old stuff. I'm getting better. So this is 10 inches or $10. I would imagine it's about 30 to 32 inches tall. I would sell that for no less than $39.95 because that is bomb. It's big. You could almost big bomb. You could almost use this like a uh, like a newel post on your stairs. Not quite. It's a little short. Oh, skeleton key with dark wax, Juliana. That would be really pretty. I don't think I've done it unless it's been like a ow, ow. careful. A faux finish, like on a smaller item. The trick is you're gonna want to clear wax it first, and then just use one of the JRB stencil brushes for the detail with the dark wax. Unless you want it all dark wax, but that's what I usually do. Clear wax on the whole thing. And then I use our stencil brushes for the detail parts. You use less wax and you have to wipe less off and you have more control when you use the smaller brushes. All so right. This was, I three, this was three dollars and um, it's, it's, it's good for hanging on the wall with your gallery art or can be a fun like centerpiece tray. Put your nuts in it. Yeah, you could put like a little nutcracker and Are you going to create a little vignette here? Watch for it. No, uh, I, don't, I don't, I have limited. But add the rooster. I have limited things. It's not a rooster, it's a hen. Have, sure. No, the bigger hen. That's too small. It's, we're going to create a vignette on the I'm going to paint these tonight for you. Look at that. Boom. I actually think as is, that's kind of cute. It's a little primitive uh, coffee table situation. So it was three bucks. I'd sell the star for $14.95. Looks like a plunger. The muddler? Maybe. I'm not, not like any plunger I've ever seen. Okay, I've got a soup tureen. I'm oh, gonna hand. Oh, the, the candlestick looks like a oh. <laughs> It kind of does. With the fat bottom. Um, Rhonda, I get my white couch covers at Ikea. So I always love, like, this isn't like real Ironstone. This is real from Target. But um, it was four bucks. I have no idea what it sells for at Target, but it's Jamie Ray Vintage. Maybe 20 bucks. So there you go. I could look it up. But this might be the all yeah oh, i actually found this one now, don't you just claim that you found I'm it i'm not i wasn't claiming it this might be my favorite find of the day it's an old ruler that's been cut down and made into like a little organizer for like nuts and bolts and things i love it yeah i found that when we were i was just like walking past it and i thought it was just a ruler but then I saw that it was. You gotta quiet. start grabbing the rulers anyway, because I can make this. Well, bat chance finding one. I know. Now they're all gonna be. I've gone. never seen one in the wild before. That's the first time. How much was that? Two bucks. I have no idea how much that's worth. I actually need to look it up. I would say if it's not like super fancy, I would say I would sell it for like twenty-two dollars. But I need to look up the rulers because sometimes some rulers are worth big money, and I only know that because my friend. Oh gosh, what's his name? I can't remember. He's from he Fallbrook. He lives in Fallbrook. Anyways, my friend, who I can't remember his name because I'm real tired, he showed us these rulers that were worth hundreds of dollars and I had no idea. Kai says that's a steal for 20 bucks. Well, there you go. I said maybe $22 because I have no idea. If it's worth more, I'll sell it for more. I just got to do the Google. Watch out. Hey, this is a little desk with a little... Uh, for American Girl Dolls Bench. only, it's not for American Girl Dolls. I think it's homemade. It's, yeah, it's homemade. Oh, the tape is loud. Just show it to him. Uh, I gotta get the, I gotta oh, get the okay. chair out. All right, I ripped it off like a band-aid. It was only five dollars for both. Yeah, five dollars comes with the bench oh, and the desk. Oh, there's one more piece. Of I'd bench. sell it for thirty-five, probably forty actually for the book because that's both. So forty bucks because it's made of. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Watch out. Okay. You do that. It's made of what? Like oak? Or is that pine? Um, it might be pine. It's pine. Stained. But it's solid wood. It's not veneer or anything. And look at the detail. Like somebody really spent a lot of time. So I would sell it for 40 bucks. If I made it, I'd be like 100 bucks. Cause oh, oh, there goodness. is. There's a little chalk. In oh, that's so cute. It has the alphabet on there. And the numbers. Oh. That is darling. And I don't there think is painted. chalk in here. It said made in Portugal on the chalkboard. I wouldn't paint this. So somebody made that for like their grandkid or something, I think. Bonus fine. All right, so it just went to 45 because that's, that's dang cute. Hold on, I want to show them the numbers. I um, wish my girl still played American Girl Balls. Eliza does a little bit, but I don't think she'd want this. No. 
Oh, I'm so sad. Anyways, even at 45 bucks, if you've ever bought the American Girl doll stuff, it's not solid wood. Guess and what? It's way more. What? When your girls move out of the house, you can turn one of their rooms into an American Girl doll room for your granddaughters. So I can use it for the. I can use that as an excuse. <sighs> Something's gonna happen. I'm I sure. like the American Girl dolls, and I used to set up their stuff. Zeb was like, "You paid what?" And I was like, "Listen, you can't put a price on memories, okay?" And then when they outgrew it, we just gave most of the dolls away to like kids in need or cousins and stuff. And yeah, Zeb's like, you didn't sell those? And I was like, no, they're priceless. All right. Mirror time. Catherine, I can see your comments. What are you saying? Um, husband made me a bookshelf and added yardsticks to it. Loved it, but really heavy. My daughter has it now. A friend worked at Hancock Fabric Store and gave me several to use in my classroom. All right. So oh, you can Kai see the camera. Oh, Kai wants everybody to give us a thumbs up. And yeah. Caitlin says she was obsessed with the American Girl. Look, I will show you my fun thumbs if you give us a thumbs up. There's a special. Oh, well, Zeb has a special thumb to show you. So, so someone, $20. someone started paying this and they got Catherine tired after like comments. five minutes. Hey, Les. So 20 bucks, I'll sell it for 50. It may or may not get painted. It is like the resin, but it's the good heavy kind. Yeah. Good heavy kind. It's a good heavy kind. Essentially, resin. Kimberly says, my mom sells American Girl doll clothes. I swear she does it to just play with the dolls. Hey, no judging your mom, Kim. We all have things we like to do. Zeb's the same way with Legos. My kids have thousands of dollars of Legos, and Zeb will sit there for hours and help them assemble them. He's like, I'm going to help them put this together. And well, then they I refuse, left, and he's still playing. I refuse to let her, like, donate any or give them away. I'm like, no, let's just let those accumulate. They're populating in the basement. They're accumulating, and I'm like, we've had, we've got Lego I sets. think they're multiplying and replenishing. Yeah, well, we've got Lego sets from when Harrington was, like, one. I don't know why we bought a one-year-old Legos, but I did it. <laughs> Nancy, um, if you cannot get through to the website, what you can also do is PM on Facebook. We don't normally do that, but if, you, if that's the only way you can contact us, try that. Um, Tarnia gave us a super chat just because Cards you guys inspired me. I love you, Tarnia. Tar Tarnia? I, I, I took Cards and Millie and Tarnia. I need to sleep. Anyways, thank you, Tarnia. All right, so this mirror was? This mirror was $15. Oh, yeah, this is like a $60 mirror. Easy. Yeah. It's gorgeous and it's heavy. It's not plastic. It's like a... I, I want to say... It's, it looks like it's already been salt washed. You know what? This is foam. This is, is molded it? foam. Yep. Well, it's cool. Which makes it a little bit lighter than if it was like wood or resin. Michelle says Legos are the bomb. They are fun. Le Eliza and Redrick have been putting back together Redrick's Millennium Falcon because Jack got a little bit too authentic with his playtime and there was some battle damage to the Millennium Falcon. Redrick was a little mad at Jack. But... Whoa! Oh, we got that mirror over there. Yeah, um, that's why this camera's moving because I'm trying to get to it. Michelle says sometimes they are landmines. Yeah. When the boys have them all over the floor, I don't even walk in their room. That's how they keep you out. Um, They're like, it's room inspection day. Janice from Kai Love says, I just got an awesome mirror on a harp on Friday. It's going to be pretty. <gasps> I love mirrors on harps. I always add them to dressers. Guys, this one comes complete with, with an some, electric with Romex 14 gauge electrical wire. Hey, you might need that. <laughs> I don't need this so that you can hang this. <laughs> Somebody needed a hanger, and that's what they had on hand. It's called Ingenuity. Yeah, let's see if I can fit. The mirror itself is actually old, probably from the 40s-ish. Um, so and this if you're is... from the 40s, then it's not old. I'll say that. Um, it was 20 bucks. I would sell this mirror for probably about $100, maybe $120, because of the detail and the age and the oval and it's beveled. Yeah, so. it's got all, it's like the trifecta mirror. It's got all the things. Caitlin says that close. her and her husband have, that's going to fly it, built them together. She actually has Lego sets on her headboard in her master bedroom. I think that's love because I love them, but Legos ain't coming in our master bedroom. Amen. All right, there's the detail. I think that's good. You don't need to fly it all the way across. Yeah, I'm not. It's heavy. <laughs> and if you, if somebody buys that and we ship it to you, it's probably going to be like $150 because it's a big mamma and it's going to take a lot of packing peanuts and a lot of foam. We've gotten real good at shipping situation like recently and Christy always gives me a hard time. She's my shipping manager for home decor and she's like, you better have charged a lot for that because it's hard to ship. So 
I always have to charge a little extra. All right, so this was $15, which I thought was a steal. And the best part about this is that it's round and it comes apart, which means when I paint it, I can put it on the home decor website because I can ship it flat. I can take all the legs off and flat pack it. This will be $89.95 once it's painted. And does it have a drawer? So this is not even a veneer inlay. This is just painted on. Yeah. But we're just going to paint on over it. Does it have a drawer? I thought it had a drawer. Um, no. Maybe. No. Nope. No drawer. But it's got a lot of really beautiful detail. Solid. No, I don't think so. Oh, it's, well, it's hollow in Oh, I was like, I'm pretty sure it was hollow inside. Anyways, $89.95 once that's painted. All right, it's time for me to paint chickens. I got a couple baskets to show you, and then I'm painting these things. Oh, we're almost done? Yeah. Almost. Here, show them your basket. Okay, this is actually, I'm not selling. This is my laundry hamper for the shop. I'm like a teenager. I change every time I come to the shop. I get new clothes, and the girls are tired of my dirty laundry all over the shop. So, laundry basket for the shop. It's four bucks. If I was going to sell it, it'd be 25 Janice says it's time to paint those chickens. This is another clock. I don't know who got oh, this Lane one. says, I have a 1940s mirror that has the same wire for a hanger. It must have been the thing in the 40s. So that pick that clock. I thought that one was kind of expensive. How much was it? This one was $7 also. Yeah. The same as yours. Oh, but... But I really, the back, the branding and the, the signage on the back is what got me. When we paint the mirror, you showed before the table. Oh, the 40s mirror? Yeah, I'll probably get painted. I'll probably paint it white. Something classic. I would leave it, but I don't like the orange wood. It's not my favorite. Last thing. Okay, last thing. I'm going to go grab paint. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I think it would be really gorgeous with blankets in it. And I paid $10 for it, and I'm going to sell it for probably like $49.95. It would be perfect for blankets and pillows. It'd be kind of a pain to ship, but I'd do it. I'd do it. And by I, I mean Christy. And Eli, yeah, my daughter. Yeah, it's not, it's not collapsible, so. My daughter, Eli. Well, if you buy this, you have to promise to buy something else to put inside of it. So whatever you buy has to fit inside of here. That's the rules. Anyways, this is really cool. All right. What colors do you want? I'm grabbing colors. You want to clear off your space um, over there? I will paint whichever you want me to paint. Oh, did we show them this one? Oh, no, I didn't This was a dollar, but here's the deal. If this is part is, you know, you can get it at any store. This is a magic jar, and the magic mason jars are worth like $14.95. I only know because I was drinking out of one on a live and somebody told me. So $14.95 for just that jar. But I would sell it with the little chicken feeder thing for $19.95. Look how cute that is. You could like put bird feed in there and set it out on your porch. Or you could feed your chickens if you have 19 like me. All right, Leslie says she loves the big basket. Caitlin, you still need a bread box? I have a bread box. It's underneath the table right over there. It's just not painted all the way. So come get away from your boys and paint with me for an afternoon. Tell your husband it's work research and you can stencil it. So this is farm fresh, but I think it's mixed with some white swan. It I don't looks, think it is. It looks a little light, but maybe nope. not. Is that full strength? Full strength, baby. Okay. All right. I gotta be careful. I, I um, smushed this finger and said a few words yesterday. Well, I think it was this morning. It was very early in the morning. We were All carrying right. her buffet that she got for the master bedroom vanity. Oh, no, it was from the window in the bathroom. Oh, it was the window. I squished it between the top and the bottom of the window. Now watch out for them windows. Bye-bye, angels. Are those cherubs or? Well, cherubs are angels. Those are. Aren't they? I think there's a distinction. This paintbrush is skin. maybe maybe I don't know. No, cherubs are angels. They have wings. So. I don't. I think you need to move your situation over more though. And I'm gonna get rid of whatever's banging over here. It's that uh, soup terrain. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna get paint on my new dress. Maybe I'll wear this dress to home church tomorrow. So our church, you can go. They are doing like just they're doing certain letters of the alphabet can go at the same time. It's like so every that, other week. You can go every other week, but you have to wear a mask. And I don't really love wearing masks for that any length of time. So we're going to keep home church in it for a while. Unless they tell me I have to come, then for Jesus I'd wear a mask. But I just, for 45 minutes to sit there, ugh, I don't know if I can. 
It's one thing if I'm busy, but if I'm just sitting there, all I'm going to be thinking about is the mask on my face. If I'm busy, I can wear a mask. I wore a mask for quite a while at the dump today. But that's because I was busting my butt to try to get stuff out. I actually think the reason why that guy helped us at the dump today, Zeb, is because I was cute. I'm pretty sure of it, because never <laughs> in my life, and I've had much heavier loads, has anyone offered to be like, hey, let me scoop that out of the back of your trailer with my huge trailer. Hey, tracker. pays to be cute at the dump. I mean, he just took that excavator and he's like, He's yeah, like, hey, can it. I help you? And I was like, yeah. Scoop that junk right out of my trailer. All right, I'm torn. You're torn between what? Between skeleton key. I'm painting the chicken and the handle on that rolling pin. I say do it. I don't think skeleton key. I it almost needs, wanted to use a little bit It needs more drama. Of, I almost wanted to use a little bit of fire starter for a lolly lolly. Um... The top dress is very cute. Thanks, Kai. It's a dress. Um, tin. I don't know what they were asking about. Home church sounds heavenly. No pun intended. Home church is great. But like for us, it's great because Harrington and Zeb, they bless and pass the sacrament because in our church, you, you can be ordained a priest. You don't have to like actually be a priest to be ordained a priest. It's a long story. But anyways, so they That's do that. That's weird that you said that. Like like how, how well, I guess you have to be ordained. Sorry, but like some <laughs> some churches, you have to go to like school. That's what I meant. Like they're not like sitting on the pulpit preaching kind of priest. But that's what I meant. Sorry, I'm tired. I give talks at church all the time. Yeah, we and we like it because in 45 minutes we can do the home church. We do our Sunday school lesson. We do our family night. Talk about all things done. Very efficient. Also, I don't have to shave my legs for home church. I do wear a dress. We I did have to get permission from the bishop to do. Oh, I thought you were like, we did have to get permission from the bishop not to shave Sacrament legs. at our house, but, you know. <laughs> he doesn't care if I shave. That's legs. something they're doing right now because of social distancing. That's right. Chickens. Get up, have some breakfast, have some home church, have some nap. Okay, so I do have some skeleton key, but I all I've been I've been mixing colors. Don't be afraid okay, to mix the colors. That's the best part is no shave Sunday. That's the problem is I usually only sit, shave on Sunday, and then I'll be like, dang, it's been three weeks. I gotta take care of these legs. Okay, so I got a little bit of skeleton key on my uh, mat here, and then I'm gonna mix some hay sailor in there with it to brighten it up. Look at you, Nick. You're like a mixologist. My hands are going Just a numb. little hay sailor. Why I've been doing too much. Well, like, we have been working I've been working out. really hard. Thursday, I painted all that furniture by hand, like all that decor. Like, yeah, really I fast. need to get the spray booth set up and again. Then, over I know. Here. And then I've been doing, I ripped a bunch of, remember I was digging in the dirt today, pulling all those, oh, those hundred year old rose bush uh, roots. The roots. They just... will never go away. Every time I think I got them, I find one. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, let me just pull that. And then I start pulling it and it just keeps It growing like runs all down growing. the side of the house. <laughs> And I have arthritis, and I, I guess the numbness probably is some sort of neuropathy. But anyways, every now and then my hands go numb. So if you see me start painting like this, that's why. So this is the mix I got. This is the color I did. Probably two thirds skeleton key to one third. I need a French round. Hey sailor, <gasps> in the DIY. You have the French I round. have the French round for the chickens. All this detail is not easy to paint with. This. It's not as easy as it is with that. It's gonna go on quick with these though. A new shade of zebulon blue. You know what? I will. I forgot to peel it's off the It's almost the same shade. It's always a variance of like a smoky gray blue. Last week I did tarnished pearl and bohemian blue. Or was it two weeks ago? I don't know. No, it was that. It was two weeks ago. And that was a good mix. That horse sold. The horse is gone. It didn't sell locally. The people local, they don't know. I they never even got a chance people, to see it. They, they didn't did. go to the website. The oh, you did you well, have this, it out there? This came from Ross originally. Oh, do we it, need to sing the jingle? I got it at Ross. No, I got it at the thrift store. For less than Ross. My friend Mel loves to shop at the Ross. Harrington has been loving to shop at the Ross Well, that's because he's buying his own clothes now. He's like discount shopping. It's I like, don't know oh. why. He, he has so many clothes. He has 
when he goes to college, we're gonna be like, dude, all right, we're gonna send like eight of these shirts to grandma so she can make a quilt like some of your and like, the other 42 football shirts. shirts and wrestling shirts and stuff. And then the rest of them, I'm gonna put in my closet and they're gonna either be, cause we wear the same size. They're either gonna, this might you'll, be his shirt. <laughs> you'll, take, you'll take good care of them. Well, he has like 40 pairs of athletic casual joggers. Those suckers are cheap. He, and I didn't realize how many he had of them. I'm like, athletic wear is life for that guy. Here's the thing. I was breaking it down for him. He's like, hey, Dad, you're wearing my shirt. I'm like, who bought this shirt? He's like, Mom. I'm like, okay, so I'm wearing my shirt that you sometimes borrow. Kathy says you should have a section where you paint bright colors. Now, I could paint stuff bright colors, but you guys have to promise to buy it because I have a certain aesthetic in my store and it would look weird. Kind of like how Debbie doesn't do farmhouse in her store. You know, nobody gives her crap for not painting stuff white. <laughs> but we could paint some stuff bright. Well, we'll start having a few random bright colored stuff. This is bright, isn't it? Farm fresh bright? It's it's pretty mild. Here, I'm gonna, you guys can't even see. She didn't move it over like I told her to. Oh, I did. It's... They can like see like half of it. Oh. Well. There we go. Now you get the full on Jamie. The full on Jamie, okay. They are not ready for the full on. <laughs> You've been holding back? I always hold back because I don't think people can handle it. Every now and then I let the full Jamie out and then I get lots of weird comments. She tells me when she's going to go crazy. What that, is the uh, star made of? Um, I think it's resin. Uh, no, I think it's wood. It's wood? wood? It's wood. Seb says wood. He's a carpenter. Yeah, it's wood. I say I don't know. It's, it's made of cute. Um, stick with my style, Jamie. Thanks, Carolyn. I do. Every now and then we branch out and we paint a waterfall Every dresser we, to yeah. look like a waterfall. Every now and then we paint a waterfall dresser and nobody buys that and I get tired of looking at or, it. Or we, we are like, hey, we have this uh, really cool buffet that uh, we're not going, that's oak and we're not going to paint it and, and no, one, it. no one buys it. It's okay because I'm going to take that oak buffet that people told me not to paint and I'm going to put it in my mom's It's been bathroom. like four months now. I'm gonna put it, well I shouldn't say my mom's, the guest bathroom, otherwise known as my mom's room. I'm gonna make it her vanity and I'm gonna paint it. I did paint a really wild drippy buffet once and it was cool and it did sell eventually. I did that one, I think I painted that one outside of a DI when I was at the grand opening. Our DI once paid me to be like the, the celebrity guest. In the grand opening of the Riverton DI. Yeah, it was actually kind of fun. I was like, you know, you made it when you were a celebrity at the thrift store. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> All right, I need the heat gun. I'm going to go under. Okay. Yeah. Kyla even... said the star is made from resin. That says wood. I'm pretty sure it's actual wood. Yeah, this is, this is, this is wood. It's legit wood. It's been painted yes. and really distressed. But it's, it's wood. What did you do to my extension cord? I'm using it. Here, let me show you these chickens up close. Here, Zeb, can you take that underneath there? You were making all kinds of ruckus over there. Sorry. All right, we'll get them distressed. I got to paint. Oh, I forgot the front of the face. Well, I don't even know how I'm going to fix this situation over here. Someone wants to know how much for the star as is unpainted. I don't know how much I say it would be painted. I don't remember. I would say it was three bucks for like $12.95. Twelve ninety five. I almost got the extension cord untied around the. Oh, is this? You've been using my steamer as a. Yeah, I use your steamer as a tripod when I forget the other tripod for when we're doing the Thursday videos. Well, you're gonna need to undo it because I got a bunch of new clothes. I got a steam to put on the floor. Going the same color. Uh, I've got a lot left. All right. When you mix up colors, make sure you mix enough to finish your project. It could be a problem. Yeah, unless you're really precise, it's really hard to get the exact same tint. Like I said, I was just kind of guessing. Two-thirds uh, skeleton key to two-thirds book, or uh, to one, that's four-thirds. Two-thirds four skeleton that's key. Six, that's 60, four, 60. 60%. 60-50. What did I say? 60% plus 60%. I don't remember. 60-60. So two-thirds skeleton key, one-third hey sailor will get close to this color if you want to use it yourself. 
We don't recommend using a heat gun. This is only because we're on a live video and we're under a time crunch and nobody wants to sit here for 30 minutes while this dries. But everybody does want to see a painted, so I gotta get to it. It will crackle a little with a heat gun. Yeah, the chickens turned out cool. They're gonna, I'm gonna wet the stress some of the details back. Uh, they, they're pretty much done. We're just gonna let them dry. You're gonna need to remember that mix because I think Sonia Brown's gonna want to paint something. My friend Sonia watches our channel. She comes to our shop a lot. But her, she's got fibromyalgia, and so she can't do furniture like she used to. And so I told her husband to get her some turntables so she could paint inside and just do little small things. And she said she couldn't do that because she doesn't just paint her items. She paints her whole self, the wall. Or I told her, I said, you could, you could put a tarp on you. You could do it. Because even, it's hard when your body doesn't cooperate and you want to create. So you got to just go smaller. We're going to add some excitement to this muddler too. Ooh, excitement. Woohoo, the paint and the candle. Oh, all the excitement. Now he's not using food safe paint, so don't eat the end of the muddler. No, don't eat the end of it. All right, so check this out. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm just going to hold my brush on the right here. It's just, I got to move your stuff. You're though. like a paint ninja. Just watch him. When painting round things, hand stays still. Just roll it. Oh. Les's husband made her a Victorian raised flower bed with handmade finials and caps for a solid fence. That's Les, awesome. Take a picture and message me on Facebook. I want to see it. Yeah, Caitlin says, Sonia may have problems one year. Gripping is hard when you have a flare-up. I don't have fiber, but gripping is hard. When my hands start going numb, I have like zero uh, strain. Sometimes Deb's like, what? You can't open that? I'm like, uh, it's not a good day for my hands. He's patient with my hands. We'll be in trouble when I can't open things. Yeah. It's coming. My problem is if I drink soda, which I have been drinking soda, and my joints don't like it. Carbonation is not good for joints. And I normally don't drink soda. All right. Now it looks kind of like a rolling pin. Maybe I should paint it down to here. We'll try that. On, uh, painting on a live TV has made me be a little bit better at my painting. I used to paint with my whole body. So I'm just going to second coat this. I'm very focused right now. Sorry, guys. You are very focused. Trying to paint in the lines. And I'll probably distress this a little bit. There. That was I my like... shoe I didn't toot, by the way. Uh, yeah, whatever. You know. That was my shoe! Again, the... <laughs> don't you, don't you be throwing me under the bus there. If I, it was actually me, I would totally claim it. I'm not afraid. Everybody toots. Alright, so I like that a lot better. Angelina wants me to dry mine. Alright. Jamie's not sitting weird on the I'm gonna stool. Be, I got it. You better be quick, I gotta have that back. I have very small pieces. Alright. I mean, I'll share it if I have to. I can share. It's about time to wrap up. We've been on for 63 minutes now. Well, I gotta finish it. Alright. I don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, yeah, Caitlin's good. She lets me know when she has flare-ups. And the other thing is, like, what she does, not, there's no, like, you generally, there's no emergency, so she has to take off an afternoon or whatever. She works hard all the time.
All right, so that one, done. I'm gonna do this chicken here because two reasons. I like it, it's like a little it. bigger and um, like a I'm gonna get it a wet distress going. I think I already second coded this guy. Ooh, down Sorry, goes the guys. phone. I threw, I threw your comments. They're talking to Caitlin. Oh, okay. About fibro. Yeah, it's stinky, man. We gotta eat healthy. Don't eat sugar. Don't drink soda. No gluten. Anything that causes flare ups. Alright, you almost done with that, sir? Hold on, someone has had a long comment. Jan, I give Jamie her. Jamie is standing. Oh yeah, I am standing. Donna says the box looks better. And Caitlin's linking my dress again. Thanks. <laughs> it's cute. Alright, I think you're good. Alright, here you that go. That blue is really pretty. It did turn out good. Let me go get... I need to go get a wet rag real fast so I can wet distress this. This is what it looks like dry. The light wax. Check out the wings. The wax brush, white wax and a wax brush, and then I need something to wet distress too. Thank you, sweetie. Tracy says the St. George DI opened this week. It did. Tracy, were you there today? My friend said that they make you wait in line to get in because of social distancing, but she said these people wait by the front, and then instead of waiting in line, when they open the doors, they just push their way in. She was not, she was not happy about that. Does my dress come in extra large? No, it less, it only comes in small, medium, and large, but I'm wearing a small, and you can see it's very generously sized. The arms are nice and loose, the body's nice and loose, and the smocking has extra smocking. And I normally wear a medium, so I would say our large is probably closer to an extra large because our small is more of a medium for sure. I would size down in this dress. I feel like brands are smart when they make you size down and not size up. Nobody wants to size up. This has like a lot of paint okay, I gotta go. I got you your waxes. You gotta go. Where are you going? I'm gonna go get this wet. So this is the white wax brush. It's sitting on top. All right, of it. I'm gonna be a minute because this has a lot of detail in it. There's like blobs of paint down and stuff. All right. So if you go, you know what? I haven't mentioned this, but if you're new to our channel, if you're looking to buy the paint that we're using. It's jamierayvintage.com for all the paint and products we use. Caitlin probably has already mentioned it, but Jamie Ray Vintage is where you buy paint products, and Jamie Ray Vintage Home is where you get clothes and our free shipping and home decor. And if you want to buy something we showed, then it's just info at jamierayvintagehome.com. And Caitlin can get you pricing and, and send you an invoice. Oh, Wes, I have extra large boobies. Okay, I get that. I'm like a C cup in the small here. So it's like, let's not talk about boobs, please. It's all right. I'm just... You're used to it. I'm just wet distressing the tan over here. <laughs> I forgot how much hard it is to dry okay, so in so much detail. That paint was real fresh, so a lot came off with my wet that distress. Cool. But I feel like it gave it a really good aged look. I'll dry it here in a minute. I'm good at zoning out of conversations. Sometimes I zone too far and Jamie starts talking to me and I'm like, what? Hey, okay, that one's in France with a bunch of women. You can do anything. I that have was, all sisters. That was a really fun trip. Yeah, we actually did have a good time. It was less talking about boobs and more talking about bowel issues. It's a lot of business talk. There's a lot of business, that's right. And we talked about junk and the crazy lady. Uh, and there was, was a lot to look at and see. We were talking about oh, what we were white wax the hen. Are you going to white wax them or are you going to dark wax them? White wax my hen. 
I wasn't gonna, I was just gonna clear wax them. Let well, me just stress this want. one and I'll think on it. They're not the boss of you. No, I think it will look good with some white wax. Oh, but oh, I, I forgot to second coat. Can this you part. heat gun the bump? I hold on. We paint and heat gun. Okay. I forgot to second coat this chair very and I can see the chair it's coming through. Okay, bum's dry. Dry enough. Dry enough. We need to get a few years. We need two heat guns. I, we probably well, shipped a breaker. I was just gonna say I don't this is think an old this, house this on a hundred amp service. <laughs> Our house is 200 amp service. Yeah, we switched it when we put the new service in. I'm we'll like get 200 amp service here. Cool. So this house was built in the 40s. The house we're doing the remodel on was built in 1917, and it was built before there was electricity or running water in the area. Yeah, it had a cooking stove and an outhouse and an outdoor well. The house next to it, I think, was built in 1914. Which is weird that they're so close together because the houses were usually further apart then, and they had quite a bit of property. Well, they probably built them, like, down the road. No, the one right next to us was built in 1914. It's rather close. It oh, the one on the corner? Them. Yeah. Well, so our street that we're on, used to be housing for the mine. They would ride the train across and go work in the mine. And that's so, across the street, though. Yeah, that's across the street, but the same area. So there's a lot of, like, small houses right together on the street there. Yeah, that's mine. Okay, I'm just going to go white wax. I'm doing it. I decided that that was a good idea. All right, I'm almost done. Keep getting this. We're gonna go full coverage. We're not doing the light touch tonight. No light touch. Not on this one. All right. You have that wet distress rag. Yeah, but it's got some of my mix. I think it'll it's be okay. okay. It's pretty. It's close it's, enough. It's in the blue family. It's in the blue family. All right. It's got like dunk on it. What did you get on it? Um, it was a rag I found on the floor. All right, so I'm just wet distressing this and I'm gonna bring back some of that creamy detail that was on here before. Do we have a French stencil that would look good on this? Uh, probably. Yeah, I think we do because it'd be fun. Like, I was you better go look for your stuff. own stencil though. I will, I'm gonna wet distress it. And also, go I gotta do payroll and we're at 72 minutes, so. Okay, I'll be quick. Hurry yourself well, if you up. want me to be quick, you go find the stencil while I lift the stress. All right. Because you love me. Okay, so this head is hot because we've been using the heat gun. So I gotta wait a minute. It's hot. Because that, if I wipe the wax off now, I'll wipe all the paint off too. It was mm, wet. So, if you have something heavily detailed like this, it's better to wet stress it because you would flatten all that detail. Yep, sanding will just get rid of it. Plus this like plasticky resin. I'll show you up close what this looks like. Can you guys see the detail on that? It's squeaky as table. Yeah, we're due. I mean, I got other projects to do right now, but we're due for a new table to work on in here. This hand-me-down was... table has been great, but it's been used real hard. Well, and then we made it taller. We yeah. modified it. Thank you, sweetie. I love this creamy color coming out from underneath. So good. So Ross just didn't know. They could have got way more money for this if they would have just painted it a decent color and got rid of the half-naked babies on it. Otherwise known as cherubs. You guys see the detail? Sorry, it's getting wet again because I'm wet distressing. The clay paint dries dark, and then when you seal it, it gets well, when it dries, it gets light, and then you seal it, it gets dark again. And then when it dries completely, it dries, it's somewhere between wet and dry. I'm not finding it. We've been using all the summer stencils, they're all on the top. 
there's no fresh I do have this all over flower stencil that might be cool to roast. Oh, rose. oh that's what Les wanted me to do. I could do rose. I just thought words would be cool. Here, we'll do the rose and then you can add some words later like the... Oh, can you go look by the sink? Oh, uh, we got a lot here. Talking like a grain sack one? Yes, that's what I meant. What did you think I had this one? Yeah. Lots of words on that. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Did that you in there. are you still wet distressing? You get a stencil? Let yeah, get I just need white. Brush. Um actually can you get me like a dark gray? I'm gonna put an address red. on top and then if you want to give me the flowers, I'll do flowers on the front and the back. Um, um little black dress is fine. Okay. Thanks, Les. She said my dress is cute on me. I dress up for you guys. All right. I was stenciling. I put a bird on our back door. And I offloaded on some plastic shelves that were by the back door. Like, on the plastic that was covering the shelves. And Christy walked by and she's like, Jamie, did you offload on that? And I'm like, sure did. So I'm using the... Dro Chartreuse, I don't know. It's a French stencil. I can never pronounce it. This is a JRB stencil that you can get at jamierayvintage.com, and I'm using a JRB stencil brush. I think this is the number 20. I can never remember the number. I use them. You should not do this, but I use them interchangeably for waxing and stenciling. What is that? Could you get that? That, just take the lid off of it. There we go. I can't handle that. It's like loud. The clanking. Oh, my I'm sure funny. you're not the only one. Yeah, I'm sure that there's some cat somewhere freaking out about it. Everybody's cats and dogs know. drying that's why it's dark underneath and then I'm going to do the rose stencil because Les asked me to now would it be weird to do the rose stencil in black then or no no I think it would be fine right. so I'm going to do this just make sure you're there we go okay this is the rose tile so you can line it up so you can just do one continuous pattern or I just like to use bits and pieces. Well, this is the whole reason I offload because she taught us by yelling at us through the, the YouTube. You must offload! Uh oh, I got a little pigment down below. I'm going to have to sand up to my line. I was trying to wet right, distress this. I'm going to put this. the leaves on the side here. Here we go. The wet distress actually looks like it has a lot of natural wear on it now. I'll put this leaf over here. And then I'm going to move this down. This has like these sides to it because it's made to be one continuous one. But I like to use it on the edges of signs and decor. Oops. I went over the edge a little. It'll be okay. Yep, it will. You know what? I know where some farm fresh is that can go right back over the top of that. That is right. All right. Let me show you that. So here's the flowers. Oh, we got to re-glue that handle. The last wanted. And then I'm going to fix this part that I painted a little. Let me dry that and then I'll white wax it real quick. See, Ross only charged 20 bucks for it, so I'm gonna sell it for 39.95. It's way cuter now. I'm gonna wax this part in the middle because I like that paint to be nice and dry before I wax it. But I'll wax the detail so you guys can see that. 
Did you get white wax, Pity? Yeah, it's right here. And there was a white wax brush. This is when it's clear you can't have it. Looks like you did some... Oh, I used that while the paint was still, or the wax was still wet. What do you mean I can't have it? I guess you can use the clear wax on the white wax. <laughs> do you have a, so I can wipe this back? Yep. There you, you go. You should not use a damp rag, but that's what I'm using because... Yeah, dry rag. A damp rag will reactivate your paint and take it all off. It's alright. But we're going for distress anyway, so it's good. It's alright, it's really good. I'll white wax the whole piece once it's the stencil is dry. Well, thanks for hanging in there through our long thrift haul and painting, guys. It's been a fun evening, and we've had a really fun week this week. We hope you're enjoying the farmhouse videos. We're starting to do the fun stuff, finally. You know, we've, uh, we'll have owned it a year, July 8th, and we've had several snags, and uh, the permit um, over at the city, the permit office has actually been really great to work with, um, but... You know, so we're, we're finally getting to it. We're going to hopefully have the second story framed out, mostly framed out by next week. So watch out for videos on that. Well, you might be getting a couple extra farmhouse videos here and there because we that's what we're going to be doing. farmhouse done. Yeah, so hopefully you're enjoying them and getting some good ideas on some things you can do in your house. We try to keep them fairly straightforward and simple so you can see how we're doing the things and... And especially like once we're doing the finish work with that vinyl tile, that marble, it looks like real marble even in real life. Yeah, and it was super cheap and easy to put in. And I was grateful it was easy because at 1 o'clock last night, I think I had just about had enough of the renovation. But anyways, I'm going to finish getting this done. I'll probably post a picture on Monday so you guys can see it. I'm going to do more white wax. I might go ahead and throw some dark wax in. You never know. And so hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint products, Jamie Ray Vintage Home, if you want clothes or home decor. And if you want something that we did tonight, and it's not up on the home decor website, you can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and junk. Love you guys. Did you tell them uh, to share it? Yeah, share this video. So you just hit the share link, it copies it, and you can paste it in the Facebook or your email or text message. There you go. Love you guys. Have a good night. Good night.